All right, this video is kind of late, but I had to make it anyways. DGS1 and 2 are coming to the West, and I am so hyped. Now, the main reason I'm so hyped is because DGS1 is my favorite Ace Attorney game. And that's essentially what this video is about. I'm just gonna talk about why I love DGS1, spoiler free obviously. I'm gonna be pretty vague in this video, just so I don't spoil anything. Also, I do wanna say, after I play both of the games, I'm gonna make a video for every case in the game and just give my thoughts on each case. And who knows, I might even make one extra video to wrap up my thoughts on the game as a whole. So yeah, expect at least 10 more DGS videos on this channel in a few months. Now the reason why I can even give an opinion on DGS1 is because I watched a let's play of it. DGS2 on the other hand, I'm going into that one completely blind. A fan translation group called Scarlet Study translated all of DGS1 and I remember seeing it on YouTube so I ended up watching an episode of the first DGS game and then I got so hooked. I could have played the game myself but I was just so into it that I ended up binging the entire let's play before I even thought about playing it for myself. Now do I wish I played it? Yeah, it would have been nice to have my first playthrough of the game be blind, but it's not really a big deal. It still ended up being a clear favorite of mine. Like if you told me to rank the Ace Attorney games, I wouldn't really know how to rank them. Most of them have kind of blended together for me, and I feel like I have to revisit them to get a better idea of each game. But DGS was just so much above all of the other ones for me. And look, I'm not saying that's how it will be for you. DGS isn't really the fan favorite. Those positions would go to Trials and Tribulations and Investigations too. But this is a personal favorite of mine. From the characters to the mysteries, the gameplay, the soundtrack, and the presentation, this game just ended up blowing me away. The protagonist Ryunosuke Naruhodo might be my favorite protag, just from one game. Susuto might be my favorite assistant, just from one game. And the supporting cast are all really fun. The soundtrack? Is straight up fire. I mean, have you heard the objection theme for this game? My favorite objection theme, no doubt. That theme is probably playing on this video as I speak, so yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, music is subjective, but for me, this game has my favorite music in the series. And the thing with DJS1 is for me, there was no weak point. I really liked all five cases, and that's hard to do. Usually in every Ace Attorney game, there's going to be one case that I'm just not a big fan of, but I enjoyed all of them a lot in this game. None of the cases felt like wasted space. The cases definitely can feel more like filler than the ones in AI2, but they all come together to form a nice overarching story about this world that Ryunosuke Naruhodo is in. Now obviously my opinions about this game can still change, like who knows, after the second playthrough, this might not be my favorite game anymore. But just after seeing that announcement trailer, I've gotten so hyped. Let's address some of the things we've seen from the announcement trailer. First, the voice acting. The voice acting is insanely well done. I like how they actually made the voices British. Uh, for the Japanese characters, you can tell that they're foreign. They have their accent to differentiate their voices from the British characters. You can really tell with Susato's voice. Her voice actor did a really good job and none of their voices seem out of place for the characters, so that left a really good impression on me. Obviously seeing the members of the cast got me hyped up. You got Ryunosuke Naruhodo, the ancestor of Phoenix Wright. We got Asogi, Susato, Iris, and everyone's favorite detective, Sherlock Holmes. Oh, I mean everyone's favorite detective, Herlock Sholmes. This shit messed up my mind. This is the next dig bick because the first time I saw that trailer, I read Sherlock Holmes. I didn't see no S traveling from the first name to the last name. It's only after I rewatched that trailer a day later that I caught it. And once I did, I started dying of laughter for a good 10 minutes. Even now, I see videos titled Sherlock Holmes and I start wondering, why do these videos have a boring title? Only to realize, my brain is just auto-correcting the magnificent video title that is Herlock Sholmes. Also, I do think I have to warn people about the first case. Personally, I really enjoyed the first case, but there are many people who do think the first case is way too long, and I can see where they're coming from. For a tutorial case, it's really damn long and can be a little too overwhelming, but after that, 
the game becomes very unique and it's able to differentiate itself from the main Ace Attorney titles and the Edward spin-offs. So yeah, that's my take on DGS and why I'm so excited for it. Now, I am going to play the game, but don't expect a DGS Let's Play or anything like that. I'll only be doing case reviews after I've gone through the entire duology. So yeah, stay tuned.